Good Monday morning. A few weeks back, I was studying the I Am statements of Jesus in the New Testament. I'm the bread of life. I'm the way, the truth, the life. And as I was studying it, I thought how wonderful to share that with you over a few weeks period this um, during the season on our Monday musings. But the I Am statements of Jesus really start in the Old Testament when God identifies himself to Moses. He is about to ask Moses to go to Egypt and to, after 400 years of slavery, deliver the children of Israel from Egyptian slavery. Now Moses is a smart man and he knows that 400 years of slavery inside of a nation where they have all kinds of idols and other gods, that they're going to want to know who this God is. And so Moses asks him, he says, who do I tell them has sent me? And God gives us a name for himself. He said, you tell them I am that I am has sent you. Strong's commentary tells us that that name, I am that I am, is the name Yahweh. I heard a pastor say one time that when a child comes into the world, the first thing they do is take a breath. I've, I've talked about this many times, but he identified it this way. He said, it kind of has the sound of Yahweh. And then he said, when we take our final breath, it has the same sound, Yahweh. That word Yahweh means to exist, which really emphasizes and confirms what theologians and scholars have said for years, that God has existed from the very beginning. It's frustrating to our human mind because we only know of things that have a beginning, but God had no beginning. He was and is and is to come. He's also the one that holds all things together. Isn't that beautiful? So he is the one that keeps this world from coming off its hinges, from a flick of the button and the world collapsing. He is the great I am. Isn't that a comforting thought in the chaos and mess of some of our own stories that we're living in right now? But isn't that also a comfort in the chaos of this world? the uncertainty of it. That there is one who has existed from the very beginning, before all time, before you and I were a thought. There's also one who gives the first breath and the last breath. It reminds me of my favorite passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 where it says God's love has the first word and the last word. So no matter what you think about your life, no matter how in control you may think you may be, let me assure you of this. It is God's love over you that had the first word, and it will be his love that has the last word. And he is also the one that holds it all together. What a peace for the human heart. Friends, that's where it began, but he's about to show us in the New Testament when he brings Jesus into our story, all the things that this truly means for us. And it is so beautiful, and I cannot wait to share it with you. So let's go on this journey together. But as I leave you, let's remember the words of that beautiful chorus that we've sung so often, many of us, over the last few years Who is worthy? None beside you. God Almighty, the great I am.